Welcome back to Starfish Sea Fishing. We're going to do another one more service video today. Uh, Slosh 30 and the Sea Line X30 SHJ. Both the same reels. Uh, one's an upgraded version with a better handle. So we've got the original Slosh 30, done these. So today we're going to cover the newer version, which is the Sea Line X30. The same reel. You've got the better handle, a metal spool, alley cap. Just a bit of better to design. Which one's better? In my opinion, probably this one because of the handle. But they are the same reels. Today we're going to cover the Sea Line X30 SHA. It's the same reel as a Slosh, it's just an um, upgrade. I think these are better, actually, the handles are much better on them. The first thing we're going to do is remove the handle, remove the small screw, move the nut from the handle using the tool. Move the handle itself, move the star drag, move the clicker mechanism, remove the two washers from the side, the under there we've got some trap bait elastic, so we're just taking the compression washers out and behind that there's a small a small washer that sits on top of the bearing. So we'll keep everything together. We know what way it came out. I'm going to turn the reel over and remove the screws from the side place. Push the spool and the side plate will come off. Remove the brake blocks, keep them to one side because you don't want to lose those. There's no servicing on the spool itself. As you can see, there are no bearings in the spool, so that just sits to one side. And the bearing we want to service is in here. So we have to remove the ring for the brake blocks first. We just prise that out and put that to one side. There's one air Phillips screw in here, we just remove that. Remove the clicker mechanism. Remove the brass plate. Then with a with the tool of maybe the bench screw driver, we'll take the little washer off there and take the bearing out. Under that you've got a brass plate, so we need to take that out, give that a clean. So the way to check whether you've got a good or bad bearing, just move the inside of the bearing. If you feel movement's in there, it's okay, clean it, re-oil it, refit it. If it's not moving inside, the bearing seized, you'll need new bearings. These are fine. What we'll do is place that in lighter fluid, we'll clean that off. And then we'll dry it off, re-oil it, refit it. So what we'll do is we'll place the bearing on a spoon with a couple of drops of oil. We'll heat underneath of the lighter so the oil pulls into the bearing. We're not looking to make these reels run fast because uh, the slush dirties are mainly for the rock marks and um, you don't they run fast without the magnets in. So we're looking to put a lot of oil in the bearing. Just see it bubbling on top, then you know the oil's been pulled into the bearing. So refit and reverse, brass plate goes inside first and the bearing. Make sure that does click home. On the bearing shield, it's a metal side and there's a side with a sponge on it. The sponge side faces the bearing. The brass plate goes on. Move the clicker into the six o'clock position and refit the clicker. Refit the screw. Then we've got the brass ring for the brake blocks. This will need cleaning. You don't want grease or oil on this. This is your brake. So we'll clean it with laser fluid, clean it off with a paper towel. Replace the brass brake ring. 
after it clips home. And that's that side of the plate done, that's your first bearing serviced. So we'll turn our tensions back to the gear side now. So what we'll do first is we'll remove the uh, lever arm. Remove the four screws. You find two more, two more screws here. Just remove those. Remove the gear side cover. There's your gears. There's one of the first differences you'll see between the C line and the slosh thirty. It's the spindle sits in the centre cap there, that doesn't happen on the slosh there, see just the C-lines so we remove the tension cap and push that out you can see how that works and there's a brass bush that sits in there so there's no maintenance on this part but it does show the difference between the slosh there and the C-line so we'll replace that in so it sits in the groove and replace the tension cap place this part of the reel to one side for now so on the gear side now for the c-line we remove the bearing there is a difference the way these go together uh, to the slosh 30 as well actually looking at this this is a, is a different gear design so we take everything off and sit you that's where the difference is the way this is laid out between the slosh 30 and the c-line um, everything else from here onwards is exactly the same. So this is the second bearing we're going to service, the larger bearing. We're going to soak that in lighter fluid again. Give that a good clean out and re-oil it. Place it to one side. So again, we'll oil this big bearing up now it's been cleaned. You don't want these reels running fast either. You want these bearings over-oiled. It's the only thing that slows these reels down. I will disassemble the uh, drag washers. What we have to do with this reel is there's a dog leg here, just in the side. Don't be dragging these off, because I'll show you how to reset this if this does come off. These dog legs can be a nightmare. So we've got a metal plate on here. They never want to release the slosh 30 ones. They're always stuck, so we have to give them a bit of force to get them out. But they will come out. Next, the drag washer. These are brittle, these. These can be upgraded to the carbon type ones as well. The Carbon X people do sell them. Much better uh, drag washers, in my opinion, than what's in here. Another plate. Another drag washer. This is the plate you'll have a bit of trouble getting out this one. Move the next drag washer. Now we need to remove the brass gear. <clears throat> we just give it a little helping hand. It will eventually slide off. Underneath that we've got another drag washer. We'll remove that. And we've got the star for the dog leg, we'll remove that. The dog leg itself is here. I'm going to take this off and show you how to refit it because these do spring off. And you won't know how to get it back on, they can be a nightmare. So we're going to remove it completely. It's in three parts. And I'm going to show you how to refit that later, if you can. And it doesn't come out, leave it where it is. Next thing we're going to do is remove the two springs. Move the pinion and the pinion guard. Move the plate. Give this a clean out. So we're going to get to the bearing behind the handle now. So we're going to remove the two screws from here.
pull the handle arm away and the retaining place. Remove the brass shield. I'm going to give this a clean out. I then like to play some grease in here. Make sure everything keeps moving on the handle. Refit the brass shield. Place the guide back on the arm, then refit the two screws. Remove any excess grease. Now, last thing we'll do is just get to the pinion bearing. So we remove these two screws from inside of the cage. And then we're going to pull the bearing out. So inside of here, there's a brass sleeve and a little metal washer. We'll take those out and clean them up. Clean the insides, clean these, re-grease these, and then we'll fit the bearing back in. I'm only going to fit a small amount of grease on the outside edge, just a small amount. I'm not trying to plaster it in grease, we're just trying to help it turn. So I've lightly greased the metal bush, I'll push that back in. Place the little metal washer. Place the oil bearing we've just done. So it clicks home, place the cover and the two screws, and we'll start the gear side reassembly, we'll fit the plate, it's going to put a little bit of grease under the back two legs, a little bit on the top there, place that back in there. I'm going to clean the pinion off and then re-grease and refit the pinion. Just like to replace a little bit of grease on the uh, pinion itself. Just work a bit of grease in. Don't have to go over the top just a bit. Place the guide. Two springs back on the legs. Oh, everyone's favourite bit, the dog leg. So the dog leg's in three pieces. A spring, a little pole and the arm and a little cog. So we fit this first. So they point left. I like to take that to that position where the biggest part's there. Place the little washer. And to refit the dog leg, you best do this in your hands. The arm goes that way. With the spring on there like that. Place the pole in. Insert it into this hole here. You keep your finger on the dog leg itself and there's a little spring we lift over that plastic tab there. Again, keep hold of this all the time while you're doing this. And we need to push this. That side of the cog. And that's how it sits. And now when we turn it, the dog leg will click into position. If you can avoid removing these, they can be a nightmare to get back in if you don't get it the right way. Clean the gear. Just put a little bit of grease around the outside of the gear. 
it'll eventually work its way in as it moves. Refit the gear. We'll refit the drag washers. We're going to place a little bit of grease onto the drag washers, just keep them uh, waterproof. You can buy Carbon X uh, drag washers for these as well. I'll probably advise you to upgrade them. And we can replace the uh, plastic cover. The next piece goes on. We're going to refit the bearing. So the best thing to do with this is this plate here. If we push it so it just goes under the guide for the pinion, it will be in the right place where it wants to be when this goes back together. So we've got to line this pin up with the pinion hole. It should. Click straight together. If it's not together properly, that arm's not in the right place, it needs to be adjusted. Replace the four screws. Replace the two screws at the bottom end. Fit the lever. Just check the lever works. It's engaging and disengaging. Make sure your anti dog reverse is working. It's all fine. Then we've got a little. Then we've got a little washer that sits on top of the bearing. Two compression washers on, so they're both domed. So if we go together, you'll see a little gap. That's the compression for your handle, for your drag. Clicker mechanism goes on. We fit the star drag. Next we have a metal washer that sits on there, place the handle, pour a little bit of grease onto the thread here and the back side of the handle, place the nut, and what you've got to do is line up the groove with the little screw hole. These screws, I'd put grease on these. It'll stop them from seizing. And do not over tighten these screws. Especially this one, it gets a lot of salt corrosion. If you can't get it out, you will need a new handle. There's no servicing on the spool. The spool just needs a clean. We fit these brake blocks back in. One either side. Replace the spool. So this spool hasn't got a spindle as such to go in. It's just the spool. And just replace the cover. There we have it, Diver C Line X30 SHA real service. Make sure it's spinning, which is spinning beautifully. I actually don't want these reels to run too fast because these are my rock reels. 
So you tend to you slow them down with the tension cap, really. It's the only way to do it. Love to have these mags, but they're not. They're just rock reels. So this how-to will also cover the Slosh 30, the original Slosh 30 diver. Uh, there's very little difference in the reels themselves. There is internal differences, side plate differences, handles. But if you can service that reel, you'll be able to service this reel. So Diver Sea Line, certainly one of the best rock reels around for hard work. Great wrenches, great working tools. See you again.